Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to show you how to install a push button start on your car. Now some guys want to put a push button start on their car because they think it looks cool and more modern. But in this case, it's a functional thing. Customer recently bought this Acura used and it came with this Viper alarm system that's all messed up. When I looked at whoever installed it, there was just a rat's nest of wiring. So instead of going through all that crap, I'm just going to wire the start button directly to the starter so he can just push this to start the car and not have to mess with rewiring everything. Now the principle behind this is pretty simple. Power goes from the battery to the switch, then the switch through a fuse directly to the starter wire. In this case the starter wire is real handy. It's right here, the little wire here. We're just going to put it right there. Now the first thing we have to do is find a place to mount it where there's clearance. So we'll pull out this cover and we'll see. Hey, there's a lot of clearance here. There's nothing blocking the back, so we're going to drill a hole right about here to mount the switch. Now this is a pretty big piece, so I got one of these cool stepper drills that has all the different layers, and we'll drill it until this fits in the hole. And away we go. Now that seems to be deep enough. Yep, fits in there perfectly. Now there's a cool starter switch. Of course it doesn't do anything yet because it's not hooked up, but looks pretty good. And now comes the fun of getting your wire and fishing it through the firewall. But in this case, somebody's already done that with the old alarm, so we'll just use that hole. Now sometimes you're going to have to drill a hole in a firewall, which is kind of a pain. But this already has a wire going through a hole, so here's a trick. We'll get two wires because you need one for power in and one for power out. We'll tape them together, just wrap it around like this. Then we'll tape those two wires to the wires that are hanging through the hole so we can pull them through. Now go right up there through the hole on the other side of course. And here we go, we're pulling on the wire. Here's our two wires. Now one wire we're going to splice to the wire that goes to the starter. You just get some nice wire cutters. Take off the insulation on one and then the other one. There we go. Put some heat shrink wrap on first then twist them together. So you can heat wrap it when you're done. When you solder, make sure you use electrical solder. That's made especially for electrical stuff. You don't want to use a different kind of solder. You get the soldering gun, heat up the copper, let it heat up a little, and once it gets hot enough, it'll start melting the solder. Then when you're done, you should got good coverage. Slide over the heat wrap shrinking, slide it over nice, then heat it up with a heat gun. And there it is all shrunk in. Then you can get the end and plug it back into its little starter hole here. Now the other wire is going to be the positive terminal of the battery. But we're going to use an inline fuse first, that's a protection. So we cut one end off, we we'll splice it off, and then put it on a battery terminal. As you can see this is handy, it's already been replaced so we can just loosen the tighteners on the top, then slip the wire under and tighten it back up and get it nice and snug. Then we wrap and solder these two wires together so power goes to the switch. Same as before. Then go inside the car and solder these nice little terminals on the end of the wires. Then screw them onto the switch. And there they are all screwed on. And now comes the true test. Let's push it. Starts right up. Now that sure beat the heck out of tracing all the wiring the guy messed up with the alarm system that they put on. And you got a cool start button just like a modern car. Or actually an old fashioned car for that matter. Old English sports cars used to be like that all the time. You turn the key on and that gave power and the dash lights came on. Then you push the start button to start the vehicle. Well that's what this car is now. Saved a lot of time and money and it looks a lot cooler too. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.